All right, welcome back, folks, to the house that never sleeps. We've been uh, doing a lot of behind-the-scenes work here recently, uh, which is another reason there haven't been many videos, uh, new videos I'm talking about. But there's going to be. Well, you, I'll tell you what I've been doing. Uh, if you think I'm not going to be here for a while, because I have every intent on being here a long time, you guys get a chance to watch me get old. Hopefully it works out that way and I don't die like everybody else did. And uh, I want to apologize up front for all the fans and crap running. Man, it has been near 100 degrees here every single day. And, uh, you know, AC's working overtime even up into the night before I ever hear it shut down. And uh, fans running all the time. I got a ceiling fan over there running right now. I, I don't have, I don't know what happened that little fan I have. I see it over there. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for keeping here. Let me tell you what I've been doing here. I upgraded everything, man, yet again. I thought, you know, I've got to get back into making videos. i got to put all the bad crap that happened to this family. You all know, and the ones that's been here, all the bad stuff we went through. And uh, almost killed a few of us that's left, you know. Anyways, got to put all that behind us now and get, get back on track, get back to video production and I've been working on guitars every day. I mean, every single day I've been working on guitars. I haven't missed uh, very few days of doing that. I just haven't been videoing it. But, for your viewing pleasure, I made a list of things that I updated. And I've been working day and night on this little list right here. What do we got first? First thing I did was upgraded my internet. Now, I had fast internet. I don't know what it was. I can't remember. I called them up and told them I wanted the biggest package they had. And then when she told me the price of it, I said, well, what's the next one under that? So I got like, uh, I, I took it, and it's not the next one under that. It's a couple or three down. We have fiber optics here so we can get whatever we want. Anyways, I went with the uh, 400 megabits per second package. Now, 400 megabits per second is fast, man. So I'm anxious to see how, how long or how short it'll be to upload these 4k and I'm going to be making some 8k videos too so stay tuned for that for those of you that have the computer power to watch them um, so that fast internet now should be able to upload videos in a matter of minutes where it took 30 minutes 45 minutes sometimes close to an hour depending on the length of the video and uh, you know whether it's an 8 or a 8k or 4k or a 1080 or whatever it is. All of my videos, most of them, from now on, the newer ones from now forward, are going to be 4K. And like I say, some of them will be 8K since I got that new uh, internet package. Now, my computer, as you all know, Windows, Microsoft's going to stop supporting Windows 10 this year in October. Boy, these lights. I got new lights too. They're going to stop supporting Windows 10 in October of this year. If you are running Windows 10, no more security patches, no more updates, no more nothing, man. And hackers are going to be all over that. If you do all of your online uh, banking and your bills and payments and all that crap online, you don't want to keep using Windows 10. Now, a lot of computers, like mine, told me I didn't have the hardware available to run Windows 10. I don't know what that noise is. Oh, there's Jax. Jax is Lily's daddy. He's like 17 years old. There's Lily, too. Cue ball. Cue ball has made the scene. So, they want you to buy a new computer, basically. So, what that comes down to, you try to install Windows 11, and like it told me... I don't have the hardware to support it. So, I didn't know if this would work or not. So, I went and I got the, I upgraded my CPU. I had an i5 upgraded to an i7. I think that's, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's about as high as they go on processors, Intel processors. Through 16 gigs of RAM in that puppy, man. 16 gigabytes of RAM. Bought a new NVIDIA 
video card and it alone has 8 gigs of memory so I'm going to have all kinds of video processing power. There's cue balls here. Say hello to them cue ball. Proof to them I'm not lying to them. <laughs> More on her later. Or, I mean she'll be back in the videos again. You'll see her again. Uh, what else? I wanted to, you know, get Windows 11 on there before they stop supporting it. And I urge you to do the same, especially, like I say, if you do any financial crap online, and I do a bunch of it on there. People pay me for guitars online, you know, and, and for the guitar uh, repairs and work and stuff. So obviously, some of you use online monetary activities as well, okay? Anyways, put all that crap on the computer. I had to do a BIOS update on the computer. That's fairly easy. I just went online, looked mine up, what you know, what the chip number was. And I was like, I forget how many. I hadn't upgraded the BIOS since I bought that computer, and it's eight years old, something like that. So there was like eight or ten BIOS updates. I got all of them right up to the last one. Some of them you had to have before you could get the next one. So basically got them all right up to the current one. And then I installed the CPU and the memory and uh, video graphics card. Very powerful stuff, man. Uh, and still couldn't install Windows 11. It still told me with that much power, my computer did not meet the hardware requirements to run Windows 11. I said, bullshit, I used to, I used to be a big time hacker, if you knew my hacking name and Google it, <laughs> you'd be surprised what would come up. And then I got caught. Anyways, I thought, you know, after all this money in this computer, I am not going to go and buy a new computer just so I can run Windows 11. So, uh-oh. You remember when it used to sound like that when we had a bunch of dogs here? We got four now, including uh, Q Ball. There's Q Ball, Jax, Vega, Tally. I'll tell you about Tally in a minute. I told you if the Lord take any more from this family, it's going to have to be a female or a male because he didn't took all the females. Well, got up and went out there one day. The gate was open again. It was probably that chick that was here on the, camped on the front porch one year ago. If you look at my videos in July of last year, tells you all about it if you don't know. Anyway, the gate was unlatched. Tally took off. Couldn't find her all day. It was 100 degrees that day. I figured she was going to die. And right before dark, my son and grandson said, well, we're going to make another trip around the block here and look for her. And they found her. But I thought, man, you know, <laughs> please, no more losses, please. Anyway, they found her, and it all turned out good. Everything about it was good. She's back here now. Like I said, there's four of them here. And three of us, me and my, well, four of us, actually. Me and my son and two grandsons. The older grandson works away most of the time. He's not here, but he still lives here when he's here, if that makes any sense. Anyways, still couldn't run Windows 11, man told me the very same thing. Well, being the old time old man hacker that I was, I got out of that crap. Too expensive, man. Uh, I knew I had enough power here to run Windows 11. Now, if you want to try this route, it's very dangerous, really. You could lose everything on your PC. I can put a link down here. If you want to mention it in the comments, I'll put it in the comments and pin it. I found a guy that had already figured all this crap out. He put links to some software you'll need to make this work. You can run Windows 11 on any computer, man. You know, unless it's obsolete, you know, running Windows 7 or some shit like that, it may not handle 11. Mostly everything else will. And if you want, say so in the comments, and I'll, I'll put it in the comments and pin it if you want to try it. Basically, you've got to go to this guy's YouTube channel. He tells you step for step how to do it. 
like I say, he previously figured it out before I got to it. And I just followed his directions. Did everything like he said. You can get the uh, Windows 11. He gives you links where you can download the ISO file. That's the complete Windows 11 completely for free. And uh, you've got, of course, you have to have software to break down that ISO file and install it, turn it into Windows 11 and put it on your machine. I told him, I said, I followed your steps one by one, very extremely careful. And I selected to save all my crap, you know, there are a lot of photos and stuff on there, I didn't want to lose it. And I think by me saving all my crap, it took the machine, even with all this stuff in it I just told you about, it took it all night long. And I'll tell you how I know. I got it started one night, pretty late one night. Everything was working beautifully. And, uh, you know, I could see it just had to run the course. So I went to bed, got up the next morning, went in there, checked it, and it was still working. It had been working all night long and still wasn't done. So I come back in here, uh, make my coffee, pour me a cup of coffee, and go back in there again, and it was done and kicked off. I turned it on and glory, glory, man. It wasn't nothing but glory. It booted it up in Windows 11. So, it, you know, I'll put a link in, not in the description, but I'll put it, like I say, in a comment if any of you guys want to do this. Save you buying a new computer. I mean, like my computer's probably seven or eight years old and it handles it fine. He's, in fact, now, after I got it all on there and everything working, it basically, it worked. Everything worked. Kept all my files and folders, programs, installed pictures, videos, kept everything. But it took it all night long. So keep that in mind if you want to try this. I'll leave a link in the, if, if you get enough comments, and you want a, a link to this guy's YouTube channel, he tells you where you can get everything and step-by-step -step instructions on how to make this work on your computer. And you won't have to buy a new computer, and you won't have to keep running an unsecure, eventually, Windows 10 or anything else under 10. God forbid anybody's run anything older than 10. But hey, it happens, man. I've done it myself before. Uh, I think that's it. I just want to let you know what I've been doing. It's all done now. In fact, this, the video you're watching right now, when I edit this video and render it and upload it, you know, I, I'll be trying all this work out. So, hell, the computer might overheat. The CPU I put in there, I used the uh, cooling unit that I had on the old one on this one. You really should watch that because you could overheat. It's not overheated so far. The old cooling unit worked on the i7 as well as it did the i5. So I'm happy about that. Didn't have to do anything there. But when I do this video and render it, that's going to put everything to work hard, man. Put a load on all that junk. And if it's going to overheat, it'll do it then. So if you see this video, you will know, as usual, I was successful. Thank you guys for watching, keeping it here, and being so patient through all this. And uh, let's get back to fixing guitars now and making videos, what I'd say. Hold on.